Hey guys, recently I was watching Richard Noel's latest video. Uh, in it, he was discussing his need for some different supers with different castellations. Um, castellated supers, they have a metal, a metal spacer that goes along the frame shelf. Uh, and it can be spaced to nine frames or eight frames. Uh, we use these Hoffman end bars, so of course we won't need 10 frame spacing, but um, depends on what kind of frames and things like that that you use. Anyway, uh, Richard is a beekeeper over in France, so he uses a little bit different type of equipment, but I, I think some of it's still applicable for us uh, as far as that. It got me thinking about the way that I use frame spacers and how I get foundation drawn out um, and the need I have for different spacings. So basically what he was discussing was having some boxes that he, he needs 10 frames in, some he needs 9 or 8. And you do come into those kind of situations. For me, if I have fully drawn out comb, I like to run eight frames in my honey supers because I get more honey per box that way. I also get uh, a lot more beeswax that way and that is something that I, I like to, to process and harvest. So uh, it depends on how you uncap as to how much wax you get and things like that. I run a Silver Queen uncapper and it slices everything down even with the wooden frame. So for me, I do like to run 8 frame supers, but I do always need to get more frames drawn out. I, I'm in a constant uh, need of replacing older frames, uh, getting more supers, because I can't ever seem to have enough supers. So, in the spring, when I first start to put on my supers, when I'm looking at them, they're stacked out as 8 frames in a 10 frame box. So when I, I load these on the truck, I'll either do it before or I'll do it after. If I'm doing it in the bee yard, I'll load up some frames as well. But I'll space it out four to each side. This was uh, a freshly drawn comb from last year. As I discussed in my previous video, the, the rainwater will darken the comb somewhat, but to me, that's not an issue. Uh, but these are combs from last year. And I want them drawn. So I could put a 10 frame super full of foundation on there. And the bees would work it. Um, it's a little bit slower. I find when you do that, that they tend to work the inside and neglect the outside frames. So what you have to do is go in and pull your outside frames put them in the center and put your center frames back to the outside as they draw them and you may need to reverse the sides so if they're not drawn comb the way you want them to you manipulate it and, and you make them do what you want them to do for me i feel it's uh, less labor intensive if i go ahead And when I'm putting these supers on, the first supers of the year, I go ahead and I put my foundation two frames that cold propolis is hard to move. So I go ahead and I put those two frames of foundation in the center and I'm good to go. They'll come up, and the first ones they'll draw are going to be these centers. And I don't have to worry as much about these. Then, as I'm continuing to super, I don't wait for these to be finished. For me, it works better if I don't. Because if I wait for these to be finished and they cap them over, they're going to cap them uh, level with the wooden frame. And that's harder for me to uncap with my uncapper set the way that it is. So... When they draw this out and they're, they're working on these pretty good, 
these will come out and I'll have an empty box in the yard or with me. And each time I'm super and I do this. So I pop the lid and there I have my last super. So those, those two frames, it doesn't have to be the foundation, but two frames will come out. Then I slide them over with the tool and I use my eight frame spacers. These are homemade. You can buy metal or plastic ones, or you can make them yourself. I really like uh, the sturdy, hefty, homemade ones. You come in on an angle and work these down. And you have your eight frame spacing. Once these are spaced out, and like I said, that cold propolis, man, it really holds stuff in place, which is a good thing because once you space these out, the bees are going to propolize them in place and they're not going to move. Even when you go to pull these supers off, they're pretty much in place, so you don't have to worry about slap and all that. But you got your eight frame spacing and they're going to draw them out the way you want it. You can use a nine frame spacer. I don't have nine frame spacers that I keep in use. I typically don't use nine frame spacing, but if you need to space your frames, nine frame spacing, generally you can just shake them, put your nine frames in here and shake them like that, and they will spread out to perfect nine frame spacing. But as I said, for me, the way I'm using my eight frame and 10 frame spacing is to get my comb drawn. If you try to get foundation drawn out in this eight frame configuration, they don't draw it out as well. You can have bridge comb, um, you can get some messes in there. Uh, they may avoid some of it, just draw the centers, draw them out really fat in the center and just kind of skip the ends. So if you want nice, even, consistent combs, it's always best to have them drawn out with 10. So they go on the bees, two in the center, and you can even do three. You can do three foundations in the center. It just take a little bit longer, depending on the flow. So then you got your 10 frame super. You come on, these are all drawn out. Two will come out. Maybe you'll take one that's drawn out really well and one that of the foundations that's 75%, what have you. And you'll go down the line. As you, as you super the hives, you'll go down the line. You'll look at these boxes. You'll space the original box eight frames so they can finish it out. The next box above, it goes like this to foundation in the middle and so on as you go. Then as you're pulling those frames, eventually you'll fill these up depending on how many hives you have in a yard, and these will go on a colony as well. So that's one way to do it. Um, that's how I like to do it. You don't have to worry with those uh, castellated spacers. Uh, it's much simpler, and it gives you a lot more diversity in your boxes. So that's how I like to get my honey supers drawn out. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. See you guys around.